Howdy, boys and girls, um, and welcome back to another episode on this Minecraft server. Well, I still haven't thought of a name. Probably try to do that before this next episode because it's kind of holding up, getting everything uploaded. So there will probably be, I don't know, four episodes or so that gets uploaded at the same time. Um, as you can see from my inventory, I've just done a little bit of caving. Um, as well as I came back above ground after dark, and so then I had to fight my way home. Um, it's been a couple days since our last recording, and I have done a lot of caving off camera. Um, uh, today is Monday the 14th, and Saturday and Sunday, that's all I basically did was cave when I was on playing. And as you can see, I got quite a bit of diamonds, a um, couple of enchanted picks and stuff. This is actually, I, uh, I lent three diamonds to my wife, and she got the fortune enchantment. And since I gave her the three diamonds, um, she has allowed me to use this when I come across some valuable stuff. Um, I have probably laid, my guess is easily 3,000 torches, if not more. Um, I'll show you guys in a second kind of what I, all I've done. Uh, because of the, I want a mob grinder kind of close to this area. Um, I am trying to get most of the caves lit up so that the mob grinder has a pretty good efficiency and can spawn mobs at any moment. Um, so after I get done managing my inventory, I hate having a cluttered inventory. Um, let's see if we can combine these two. Anyways, oops. So, I, I finished the house. I don't think that was done last video either. Um, it doesn't look like much. Not very thrilled with it. And it and it took a lot more wheat than I was hoping for. As you can see, I've replaced two of the rows with carrots and potatoes and just let the rest grow out. Um, I've also built an enchanting table and 15 bookcases so we can get maximum enchant. Uh, there's our horse pen with the horses that we got last time. Um, haven't done much breeding with them. I've only bred two of them. I didn't really see much results. I did do some exploring and found some donkeys, so at some point I might go get some donkeys and do a couple of mules. Um, anyways, but down here, this is what led to uh, one of the biggest cave systems, but I have an x-ray machine set up. Um, and I know some people look down on it because it is kind of a glitch and it's exploiting it, but it makes life so much easier when you can go ahead and use one. Um, and I've switched sides so that I could see that side earlier, and now I've put it so I can see this side. Uh, this is the ravine I'm working on right now and all these little side tunnels. Um, but you can see I have done all those caves. There's a couple of ravines back there. All these caves in this cave system. Um, let me put that back. And I think we should be able to see a little bit better. There's a lot of caves back in there that we've done. Um, I think that cave system at the very edge starts getting into what my wife has been doing. She's done a little bit of caving, not as much as me. She doesn't enjoy being underground as much. Um, I'll just kind of show you guys what I did. I just ran a uh, redstone circuit back here to power the two sticky pistons that are connected to the TNT. Um, I know using TNT and redstone is sometimes a questionable idea because redstone can set off TNT but the reason that I'm using TNT uh, the two blocks that I know of that work with an x-ray machine is TNT and glowstone and the reason for that is they they meet the criteria of kind of being um, well kind of hollow blocks uh, in that you can be in them and not suffocate if we tried this with cobblestone or dirt or gravel or anything else you would suffocate within the block, and you couldn't do that. 
Whereas if you tried with glass or ice, because those blocks are transparent, they don't activate um, the rendering that allows you to see through solid blocks. Um, because of this, you can, as you can see, we can see any tunnel, any open space within the ground. Um, all the solid blocks, all the cobblestone, dirt, gravel, and all that, just, they disappear when you look at it through this. Um, and that's the way these x-ray machine works. They show uh, empty spaces, and so as you can see, that staircase that we jumped into the x-ray machine from is an empty space, and so it blocks our view on the other side. Um, we can go in and fill it up, and then we could see through it at that point and see what's back there. And I might do that, or I might just move it. It's not that hard of a setup. Um, and then once you need to get out of it, like I just did, you um, because it is a transparent block, you can jump up, and because you're no longer within that bottom block, uh, it will kind of re-solidify itself, basically. Um, so you stand on top of it, and then you can jump again to get out. And then the lever turns on and off the power, which activates the pistons. Really simple design. Um, I know there's a couple out there that give you full visibility. Um, they don't require you to dig a hole or anything first. Well, all you have to do is dig a hole for yourself, jump down in it, look up, flip a switch, and it pushes stuff down in t on top of you so you have a full view around you. Um, those ones require a lot more redstone than that one does. Um, and so it's not as mobile. That one I can basically pick up and move to another spot within. Basically the only time taken would be get to get it to get to that new spot. I'm having trouble with my words today. It's been a long day. Monday and Wednesdays are my heaviest day of classes uh, this semester. Um, so I apologize if I seem a little bit uh, tired and addle-minded right now. Um, if you could notice from those, from that x-ray machine, I was able to kind of guesstimate where um, those ravines were. And so this goes down to the ravine that we're working on. This is the hole for that. Um, this hole goes down to another set of ravines that we worked on. And then there's one final one that I think was over here somewhere. But it doesn't matter. We got those ravines. Actually, this might. Nope, never mind. Um, we got those ravines taken care of. This was the lava pond that was here before, and I just went through with water and made it all obsidian and mined it up so that we can uh, start building some nether portals probably within the next couple episodes. I know I'll have a portal, nether portal set up. Um, Right now, what I'm wanting to do so far for the next couple episodes is one, work on the mob grinder, um, two, get the nether portals working, three, do a little bit more with spawn. Um, right now, I want to, it's getting night, so we'll go sleep and then we'll work on it. But I kind of have did some preliminary looks and kind of got a little bit more figured out what I want to do with spawn. Um, from this, let's see, it's actually from this block on this side of the cobblestone. Because from here um, to, you can barely see that cobblestone, right there on top of that hill. And then in this area is where I'm going to put the NPC village part of spawn village. And then from here all the way to that far cobblestone and then from that cobblestone to that cobblestone will be a courtyard with the spawn nether portal within the middle. And this um, the X marks the spot. Uh, this is the direct center of all of these. So this will be the center of our building for the nether portal. Um, I've been, I got some pretty good ideas of what I want as far as um, the nether building will look like itself. It's not going to be anything grand or anything on up here. Um, what comes to mind is... Oh, 
This sh shows how unprepared I am. It's one of the buildings that's uh, an American National Monument in Washington, D.C. Uh, it's kind of a marbled building with a domed top. Um, and just a small little s structure. But that's kind of what I'm wanting to do, is a round um, domed building right here in the middle over the nether portal. Um, but today I wanted to kind of get laid out what spawn will look like. Um, I might do the road as well and then maybe work on a time lapse. I'm not really sure how the time lapse works within my editing software. I'm still playing around with that and getting it figured out. Um, but what I am going to do with the path around the middle area, well first, the portal, the nether portal building will be there in the center. And then around it I want a garden, or kind of a garden set up with trees and shrubbery and whatnot. And then around that to be a pathway slash highway type of a thing. Um, and the high, the pathway I would like set up in a probably not gonna do me. Um, a hexagonal shape. Um, so I will I'll show you what I'm going to do. So from each one of these points we are going to come straight out uh, 18 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then from here, I believe it'll work if we do a slant of 19. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, yep. And we should be online. So this should be 18 blocks from there. So maybe the slant in between, I guess, is only 18. Oh. Uh, Yep, 18. So that's all that this hexagon is going to be. Um, and the reason I'm just marking it out with full cobblestone blocks is that I am going to go through and kind of terraform the center area. It's going to be a fairly big project. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it. Um, but it basically needs to be opposite of what it is. Um, I want the center building to kind of be down into a bowl or depression. Um, but I'm going to make it hopefully look a little bit natural. Not like someone came through and did that. I'm just going to get these flowers out of my inventory. Um, this trench is the center that I marked out a couple episodes ago. Or before a couple episodes ago. Um, let's see. So one, two. I'm probably. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that or not. Um, but I'll go through, strip out all the dirt, kind of get rid of the cobblestone that I don't want in there or the stone which will turn into cobblestone and then I'll go back through with a layer of dirt and just kind of mark it up make it look nice um, I might le leave the landscaping itself to maybe my wife um, sometimes I go I tend to when I'm decorating something either go overboard or don't do enough um, so maybe that's something I could work on as well. So we, uh, oops. the 
this episode is probably either going to be a lot of me counting or um, we could just stop it stop the counting and go into a time lapse I like I said I don't know how that'll turn out but let's Let's see how it goes.
So, just cleared out a quarter of this section. Went through uh, two diamond shovels and uh, iron shovel. That was about halfway done. Um, now I'm just kind of cleaning up the, this um, portion of it. Um, and actually, technically, we aren't even done yet. Clearing out this quarter, we still gotta do all this uh, stonework, and then we also got to put the finishing touches on and make it look good. But that that one will come for after we get all of this cleared out. And let's run up here so we can maybe see so far. Um, that was about well, 30 minutes of digging or so. But we still got three more quarters of that to do. Um, I actually had an idea while I was doing that um, that I might from now on it also depends on how well the um, time lapse works with the editing software. But if it does work really well um, I might upload or when I do big projects like this I might do one that has commentary and stuff in it um, like you see now and then one that maybe has a little bit of commentary but then mostly music and time lapses of what I did um, that way you guys don't get time lapses if you don't want them or if you really like them then you can go have full episodes I don't know I'm still thinking about it um, and oh Yeah, this project's going to take a little bit to do, um, but we, as you can see, I have, just from the, that quarter, I have one double chest full, plus a little less than an eighth. Um, and that's not final, and it's not adding the dirt back to cover up after we dig out the stone and the gravel. We'll put dirt back on top so the grass can grow back in it looks like a nice little garden commons area um, and then around the outside we'll have to actually dig this border out just a hair because um, I think this will be the middle of the path and my path is oh it's probably gonna be five blocks wide because um, I like putting stairs on the edges to kind of simulate curbs a little bit and tie in to the landscape a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I will probably do the rest of this off camera. Um, this corner especially, or this quarter, is going to probably take the most effort. Um, as you can see there's this mountain, well not mountain, but little hill that has to be flattened as well. Um, because it goes up to here. Um, and I'll make sure that all my distances are right. Um, but well, the reason why I didn't finish the perimeter was, uh, if you guys saw, I ran out of cobblestone. And so, I figured I might as well start digging and get the dirt and stuff out of at least these, or this half, and then get cobblestone out here and that'll give me enough cobblestone to finish the perimeter and mark it out so I can dig it out later um, but yeah hopefully it'll look pretty cool and pretty neat um, again then at some point we're going to also work on the uh, town hall thing it will go right in here um, and I'm thinking that I'll tie the mob grinder into the basement of it um, and have it so that the, the spawning platforms down in because I'll have it down in the ground that's why I've been lighting up stuff will have lights or toggle lights so we'll need to go to the nether to get redstone or glowstone for that um, and then we'll tie it into a light switch at some point oh excuse me I'm getting a little tired um, yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode it's probably going to be a little bit shorter might not I'm 
might end up being by about the right time. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and you'll stick around for next time. Um, so, everyone, hope you have a great day. Bye.